the 0-1 of Dan Darnstadt. Car number 32 also in the field. He'll be bringing up the back of the pack. That's John Smith. Green flag is out. Ryan. Waterman Joe Weider. Ed Drew's trying to hold on to the top of the field. He's going to be up to seven. On the wide wire, Chris Meyer. Meyer looking good in his qualifier, trying to take over that second spot. He's got it. Let's go around the second spot. That's Phil's boy. Show. Well, I'll tell you, Meyer and Waterman seem to be dead even, but their cars, horsepower-wise, they are like dead even as they go around the speedway. Then you got Stone right there. Anything happens to those two guys, Stone's in the lead, that's for sure. Yeah. How you doing? You gotta want it, brother! Oh! Stone's helping him 
him out a little bit. Keep digging, brother. You don't want to caution, they'll be on the outside. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Nah, Damn it. I don't think Chris Meyer is happy because it looks like he's not the cover. Well, Waterman Waterman thinks he's in the lead still, but he's not. 87 might might pick the outside. They don't do that here. I think they do. They do? Yeah. Really? Nobody does it though. Really? You seen a couple people do it here. Is that right? Yeah. Started doing that in like 2011, but nobody ever. All right, my bad. I don't know why. If, if so you can fire first, the outside will be at least the lead on the outside. Yeah. He's going to stay there on his double file restart. Here we go. Green flag is out, and that's a hope of the day for Ryan She doesn't like Corey. <laughs> oh. 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 Either that or he's trying too hard, I don't know. The driver who finished third in car number 80, a former champion, Norm Ruth Jr. And that caution with three laps to go, did it help you or hurt you? Looks like it helped us. We were, we were pretty good before that. I was pretty happy holding Corey off and running on Al's back. Bumper, I'm happy to be there. I got a great crew. They, they really, we put a transmission in this thing after the heat race. Um, they, we did a few adjustments on it and this thing is on rails. I, I can't be happier. This is great. Take us through all that uh, turmoil that happened down the stretch. Chris and Ryan were racing real hard up front. It was, uh, Fun to see Ryan uh, running good again. You know he deserves it, and uh, you know it's just hard racing up there. It's what the division's all about, and uh, can't ask for anything more. Yeah, I know both those guys really wanted to win really bad, so I didn't really know where to go. I was just kind of laying back, and uh, you know it all kind of sorted itself out, and, um, and there you have it. So Livewire is back. Chris Fire. How intense, Chris, was that battle that went on? Between you and Ryan Waterman, well, it, was a, it was a good battle. Uh, I thought I thought Ryan was going to get me into the first half of the race. He seemed to have he seemed to be pretty even. He had the uh, preferred line. I just I couldn't get enough grip off Ford to get by him on the outside. So, but I don't know. The Waterman Speedball says I, I chose the outside line in the final restart, which is not true. I mean, they, I, I, I really think they try to try to steal my championship battle. Like, I just I don't know. Oh, I mean. Uh, you're here in victory lane, so everybody just saw that. And uh, the one thing about that caution flag, it looks like you had the momentum before it came out. How difficult was it to get that momentum back? Uh, I was more angry than anything. That they uh, literally took the lead away from me on that recent time, under caution. So I was just, I, I drove it harder than, than I ever had before. But I feel bad that Ryan didn't finish. I don't know what happened. I really would have liked to be one and two again with Ryan. Well, we should have staffed some of the final three left. How about one more hand?